I hate myself. Kill me now. Throwaway comments. We can comfortably say such nasty, spiteful things about ourselves with no one ever questioning it. It's become a normality. Self-bullying, yes, it's a thing, and despite the lack of knowledge, I can despondently say that all of you have been an offender. Whether this is that voice in your head mocking every word you say, reminding you of how stupid you sound, or that wall, so big and sturdy it almost seems real that prevents you from thriving. We doubt and kick ourselves about who we are. We bully ourselves. I'll admit, I hate my weight, my large thighs, my wrinkly, eczema-prone hands, and quite frankly, I wish I looked like Kylie. Jenna, not Minogue, obviously. <laughs> Ever since I was little, I suffered from eczema. This made my hands excessively wrinkly. I mean, <laughs> I'm 14, not 74. You'd think I'm saying this with a negative outlook. And certainly, if you'd asked me three months ago when I wouldn't even lean on the table because that way people could see my hands, I would be. But rather, I realised if we were to all change those things we dislike about ourselves and become the model who gets first in absolutely everything they do, would you even recognise yourself? 70% of teen girls aged 15 to 17 have avoided daily activities because of their disgust in the way they look. 75% of these girls have reported in engaging in undesirable activities such as self-harm, alcohol consumption or eating disorders. This compares to the 25% of girls who love themselves. To reinforce that, of the 180 of us in my year at my school, only 45 of us love ourselves. But the sad reasoning behind the lack of communication on self-bullying originates from the pure fact it is impossible to comfort the victim and yet punish the bully when they are the same person. Yourself.